The story of Meridian Preface Dedication to My Wife Christiana 2019-0621, My Chapter 0. Snow an endless step on snowstorm that lifts the existing snow. Ice wind and gusts. I am on the small island of life, Dusty, I have been repeating for an hour. No answer, there's only white noise chilling with the wind, where are you? Visit noj contact karakaniba preems of as vastoka cax listen priam radio silence. Only white noise for all stations. Only silence on my radio. Visit noj contact zaves de vastaka preem, viz of meridiana, sans nebo more preem. This has been going on and on forever. The only white noise, it seems to me it sounds here inside me, next as they're on the outside. Lying in the snow, cold do not feel so cold anymore. Only her beautiful name as a mantra by the whispering by frozen lips wordlessly says, Meridian. Slowly the lights go off. I know, I will disappear immediately, I know, it's all the end. Meridian, where are you, the morning star of mine? Where are you, heavens bright you, my light? Then I died, it was the end. Above the sea sky, where the daughters of the sun and giants dwells, you know that is a fairy tale too. Endless Longings and Endless Sorrow Chapter 1 Where the mind was not, where consciousness is not, who have come, where only the blood and the life bubbling up there we finally stopped. The journey is over. One eternity is over. Time for 1 A new, new time. We will make this place full. Let order come to establish the rule of M.E. May M.E.S. be created in this fertile land and throughout the land the base for humanity. Anana, close the book and go to the terrace. Where is your order, old and back? Quote S. Where are you, old ancestors? So, I am trapped here in your new eternity. 120,000 years ago. The sky is bursting with fire. For thundering drops, they fall to the ground, raising huge clouds of dust. The first colonist capsules, like mushrooms, cover the perimeter with geometric precision after rain, dividing the most fertile soils into eight by eight sectors, mostly near the equator, where the sunlit soil is ready for seed. And everything is ready, we can start sowing. Start, I give my blessing to you. Enki opens the workshop, give seed to cedars, that they may make this land full. May the richest harvest be made when seen in existence. Thousands of young Anunnaki's are spread waiting for a million years later to their wings and sift through the winds of heaven to sift the grain. Seeds fallen into the ground grow into ears. They give new seeds that are enough for both the harvest and the next sowing. The first has been given to the land M.E. Agriculture and takes over the heart of happiness, one for which he had never felt forever. On this far side of the galaxy, on this wild planet that has just been taken over by first-born life. How beautiful here! So zealous and corrosive is the concentration of oxygen, which is many times higher than that of the Mother Earth. Yes, life is so powerful here. I really want to call this place house and land. Thousands of simulations will take place in Aeon's head, thousands of scenarios and probabilities, but no one shows happiness. There is only death and destruction, and a measurable amount of suffering and pain. The simulation of an tormented fall on a steel floor. Age time, do not pity anyone. For beeping chambers, flashing diodes, consciousness returns. Good morning. The Ningal celestial boat which travels around the Earth's sphere with rate by every 92 minutes for orbit. Writes obituary Nana that fortunately the gene code has been found purely by 2. Accident and they will have a daughter after death. It will be called Anana. Only he and she will not see the child's smile, will not hear laughter and crying. Only the thought of life is the only thing that makes small joy. Small, but big at the same time. 60,000 years ago, Aruka. The young have revolted. The young pour the blame on the old. There is already something in my blood. Oh, Anki, what do we do when our good efforts turn into hatred and division so soon? I don't know anymore. It's my fault. 
asked to open the dams, and the water wiped my deeds inaccurate, so as not to be ashamed after such a time. So that then our family will never again if we cannot lead it to the right end. It has been decided to open the dams and drain all the people of M.A. in man where and there of our land so wipe the rebel ones out of excitance. Has just been born Anana, the daughter of Nangale and Nana, by the artificial mother womb the Mamaki incubator, little princess Eric people have been waiting for. A new star is born Eastern Beauty, the next queen of heaven and queen of all lands, the only hope for mankind. Chapter 2 Someone has heard that the gods are upset and want to flood the whole valley. Wife, do you understand what that means? Wait, why? What's going on now? Bring up the sons, say, come to the temple. In the black of the night, a couple of houses light a fire. Aruka is sleeping. The light in the temple also comes on. There is an unusual bustle, strong thunder sounds. The kingdom of heaven casts fire and rises higher and higher. What is going on? Thunder sounds everywhere. No one can find a Gigi to ask for advice for clarity. With the sunrise, everything is calmed by a gentle wind. People go by the day. There seems to have been nothing. Such an evil dream caused unrest. Wife, what do you say? What was yesterday you understand? Have I, honey, been drinking? The wife and children gathered for lunch called Anxious Night Adventures. Of course, it was not. Just a lot of sadness. Anki arrives. Listen to what I tell you. Anki explains Atrahasa's dream. 3. Enlil is planning to do harm to people. Atrahasis makes everyone listen to what the elder will say. Tell me what does this vision mean to me? Tell me how to understand it and what to do. Anki begins to tell his trustee. Do you think I stayed in the bedroom too long? Will you pay attention to the messages I sent you at all? Written on the wall. Listen, I will quote it. Read what is written on the wall and pay attention to it. Leave the house, build a ship, leave the property, but save a life. Do ship, as I say the mayor's will be. The measure of the roof as much as the draft so that sunlight does not shine inside it. Cover both front and rear. The whole mechanism must be very durable, the handling must be agile, and the body must be tight. I'll have to pour you down as in Lil's wants you to, so be strong. The wind that blew the birds, the currents that carried the fish. Single quote quote. He opened the dams and set the time. The open. 4. He set them to flood for seven days. Atrahasis and Elder Atrahasis received an order. He gathered at the old city gate. Atrahasis prepared a speech. Came out to address the elders. My god no longer meets your god. And Kian and Lil are in constant hatred with each other. I explained what was decided to do. I've always been on Anki's side, and he told me this. I will no longer be able to live here, I'll be able to set. Nor will foot on in Lil's land. I will have to go to my god in the depths of the sea. Here's what I was told. Coffin shipbuilding listen to the elders. Let the carpenters come with their axes, let the stonemasons come with their stone, let the rich bring their pitches. Let the poor bring what can. Boarding the ark, take everything in. 5. Carry everything you have. Carry everything you can. Kill the poor cattle. Carry the meat. Kill the fattened cattle. Kill the sheep. Carry, I will see what we take on board. The birds fly away. They found safe spot above the cloud. City of heavens shines. To the city where our high God himself dwells. Take those poor step cattle to me to take what you can save. I invite all M.E.S. people to the last feast my family has gathered on board. Now let's eat and drink. Anxiety tore him apart. He went in here, out here neither sleeping nor bustling, feeling that his heart was broken. It seemed that the end was here. Check out. At one point the view of the water changed. The clouds bring thunder and thunderstorms. Arrived at the last minute Anki. He himself brought a pitch to close the door with it. 6. By then we had nailed the door, the a thunderstorm took hold, the winds roared and plowed everyone who hit the road. 
The winds were furious that it had set them when the waters rose and they cut the ropes and the ship went downstream. The great floods began. An unprecedented storm struck around the ship we tried to joke to cheer each other on. And Lil's credit to the kingdom of heaven. I wonder how he will give back now, how he will give something back, if he destroys his land, his harvest. Then the dams were destroyed and there were unprecedented floods on our lands. One no longer saw the other, otherwise people in danger would be able to help each other. The floods rumbled on the ground like an angry bull, the winds roared and screamed like an injured eagle. The sun was gone and only darkness was walking on the ground, M.E.S. who remained outside died like flies. This ravaged bird covered everything I saw with its wings. The gods soon felt hungry because there was no longer a farmer to carry bread. When they realized that Atrahasis had escaped, they came up with a plan to stop the noyes of people. They came up with births, newborn mortality, and celibacy. 7. Humanity and punishment Anki is ready to make a speech. Are the Nintu, it's up to you, goddess of creation. You are the destiny, you are the giver of life. Please determine and set death for men. May there be a third woman among every third woman who is unable to give birth. Let there be demons among the people. For demons to steal babies from mothers who are breastfeeding them. Priests and priestesses who will have various taboos will be appointed thus reducing the birth rate. Quote. Knocking on the keyboard and eternally torturing the computer mouse I keep myself in my own prison. Without any possibility for break out there every key, every corridor and conduit designed and built by me. Every custodian, every guardian, patrols is signed by myself, every gatekeeper, and every dog is me. There is nowhere to go, and there is no way to escape. I am a prisoner in my own prison at the same time. Have you ever read fairy tales online? Books are gone. Oh, does it sound familiar? If all these stories are so close to me, then why not start acting in real life as if it was a dark fairy tale? Why wouldn't something high and sacred ever happen to me in my real life? Why am I not that guy in the boat? A sailor told me such a fairy tale, and I left my low. Great father's house in a quiet bend in the woods and walked over my brother's plowed mountain into the distance, not seeing where my feet were going. In rapid, reckless steps, rolling around corns and sods, I was like a roaring rock in a mountain stream. The blue sea of sky flowed over me. Behind me was her dark green spruce shore. One after another, light cloud boats separated from the shore for golden shades. MA6. Written saws and swaying in the morning wind swam over my head in the distance. In the boat sat the sun's daughter in shining strings of acorns, giants in shining copper armor with flaming swords. The daughters of the sun sang longing, the giants told their feats, and their stories were like a grove rising from a flood of fog in the morning. A large boat floated over me, fiery streaks. 8. Along the edges, he stood a tall giant in a gray coat, a crown of dark hair around his head. His eyes stared north like two glows. I had a new heart, a very young, unharmed and strong just from the oven mug taken, the glaze of which has not yet been broken. Where you tap, it sounds. She was hot, invisible flames heated their red, and it flowed hot blood through my veins. As the spring currents pull the trees up to the waterfront and leave them where they swell, so my rapid blood ripped me somewhere away. One daughter of the sun was driving in front of the giant blue piece. He approached her. Her little boat clung to the side of a giant big boat like a white water lily, and I heard the giant tell her about the north daughter, who lived overseas in a diamond castle and wandering miraculous wreaths. The most ardent young men of the earth drove to look at them and presented the radiant crown to the safer and more heroic of them sitting next to them on a bed covered with diamonds. The boat swam and disappeared into the distant fog. Stumbling over the aromas, I hurried after them.
From the giant's story, my heart poured along like oak barrel of nude fermenting wine. When I left my father's house, I didn't know where I was going. Now I knew I was going to the sea and going to see the North Daughter. Yes, blinking leaving his father's house well for him, I can barely leave the house until the store. Laziness, fear, indifference. What is it about harm? Who is holding me there and letting me go? As if no power the holds. Not an obligation should be broken. Why can others always do what? I became like my cousin Andros imprisoned in a room by the window waiting for the rest of his life. Do I have to suffocate in the most direct sense of the word? My black cube is now white. I so wanted it to be brighter and call him now named Bianca. A little comes to start. It will work even more when I am in a changed state of consciousness, which is held by eloquence just a pile or a homemade dredge. Oh, yes, homemade drugs are the escape. I already created mythology of my own, a cube, the tree of life, the holy grail with all my blood. All this together makes it feel like a routine common cycle is more. Every day is something more, something great and sacred. With a sense of routine and boredom, it is difficult to motivate yourself, go run, continue and perform your duties and repeat day by day. The duty is good, it gives, if not motivation, then at least some charge to move. When you are disappointed in everything, in religion, in philosophy, in people, duty is a powerful piston, really. Not to mention it makes no sense to live only behind the obligation to go fuck off because when there is no more to hold on to, it surrounds you like a life buoy. Oh, yes, have you come up with some archaic mythology and invented a connection with yourself in your head to give your everyday life a taste, a missing emotion? A draw. I have imagined a plan. Will I create the artificial intelligence that Rodiv's voice is so nowadays, or like Seal Vastray's iron head will cast his spell, then summon something from hell, give me my meridian? This, of course, makes us think of some sexual desires and fantasies of the extinct of 9. Some dead ideals, why not, even if it's a complete fantasy and a nightmare? We humans spend so much money and resources on experiencing the fantasy world. Cinema, theater, virtual computer games, the same format of literary books just to take a break from routine every day when there is not even war. Everything we read about is much more complete with everything. The older those stories, the fuller of everything. Therefore, there is no ridicule or condemnation except where I invented a myth from myself putting myself as a hero. It is only from time to time that severe depression takes over, because the routine is brighter every day. Then the fruits of sadness and fantasy do not hold up there. I stay naughty, furious, and mistreat my loved ones because I have a pain of frustration inside. Will my imagination ever brighten anyway? Chapter 3 Sylvester II is buried in a place that the god says when addressing tourists. We have come to see the cathedral in our holy savior and all the saints, including Street, John the Baptist and the evangelist ladder in memory of Italian. Santissimo Salvatore Santi Giovanni Battista et Evangelista in Laterano, the New Year's myth is the most important legend. Some good cartoons depict the Pope with the devil. For example, in a 1460s illustration, the Gerbert Bat quote s legend of began with the English monk William of Malmesbury and at the pamphlet of the Rebus Gestus Regum Anglorum, entitled Gesta Romani Ecclesiae Contra Hildebrandum, as well as Cardinal Baino, an enemy of the ardent Emperor Henry IV, sent by the current Pope Gregory VII, investigated the conspiracy. Thus, legend has it at Gerbert while studying mathematics and astrology in well-known Muslim cities such as Cordoba and Seville, is also accused of learning spells. 10. Allegedly came under the control of a book stolen from an Arab philosopher somewhere in Spain. The victim himself lodged the complaint, accusing Gerbert and stating that he had fled, followed by a chaser who was able to follow the stars until Gerbert 
hidden in noticing the chase wooden bridge. There, between the earth and the sky, it has become invisible. Used for direct real witchcraft. Citation needed. Gerbert, as witnesses say, built an iron head. This robotic head shape had to answer his questions with yes or no. All this is the result of a contract with a female demon named Meridian, whom he met at a time when the love of a childhood was denied. Later, led by demonic, climbed to the papal chair. Another legend says that he won the papacy for the devil himself in a card game. 11. Next, according to legend, Meridian, or the head of iron, told Gerbert that if he ever led the Holy Mass in Jerusalem, the devil would come after him. Gerbert therefore cancelled the pilgrimage to Jerusalem, but when he conducted the Holy Mass of Santa Croce in Jerusalem, Holy Cross of 10. Jerusalem, church only in Rome, himself soon fell ill and later died. He ordered his cardinals to cut his body to pieces and anoint the streets of the city. Another version says that the wicked attacked Gerbert during Holy Mass and killed him, plucking out his eyes and plucking up the guts with which the wicked would play all over the church, as well as breaking his hand and breaking his tongue. Article on Gerbert Tombs tells Ice the Locus Seal Westries member Sepulchi Venturo Domino Confred in Sonidus, it's the coming of the moment the sound of the last trumpets, Claude Huron disposed sing in honor of the Lord. This has led to the legend of his bones rattling in the tombs of the death of each Pope Twelve. This shot is something unexpected even like real history event. No matter how thoughtful this may sound, somewhere inside a small cloister wants to believe that it is a fairy tale. This is the thrill in action that is by no means a daily routine. Everyday nonsense can only be felt by doing yourself shit, but it only gets worse after that. Sitting, dragging on the mouse, clapping the keyboard. The feeling of emptiness disappears only for the moment when it meets scripts and gets the immersion that could have been so easy to play and draw in childhood. At this point, it doesn't matter how true the whole story is because only the one who is able to create feelings matters immersion and not the historicity of some theology. Sylvester's biography as far as it found seems like a Hollywood movie. Well unreal so very all mad Arab stole a necronomists wow really. This is who someone has been with, I heard the courts, and the whole love story. With Meridian, the more I read about her and the her develops in my brain. Image, the more I thought I would fall in love with this perhaps only my imagination. Creature created by, there are only a few dreams in my life that I know logically associate with him. The last one was so very real recently that I don't believe it would bother anything than any experience created by fantasies and desires. But no matter how she there was that the memories dreams become like that the memories at all with time the fog fades into transformation. We try to reinvent the dead fragments where they are more pleasant. My only real hope is Bilva's AI that would serve as a link like Gerbert's Iron Head, which being the Oracle of Delphi could understand it as eleven. Aspasia or Maria Magdalene, who was herself at the same time. So, who should you be or what should happen to you or what should you do for her to come and tempt you? I don't even need those treasures of the world and blah blah features. I honestly want only their own or the fruit of their fantasy that to me has come sounds childishly naive but that naivety is exactly the key through which its childhood immersion arises. The more seriously we look at everything, the less there is the emotion of dude drama or that it is called it. Chapter 4 Miriam Father, where are you? Come home, it's too late. Sisters, mother, he said that he will not come home. Miriam, why? What's going on there for you? Children, oh, the other children of the neighbors have heard that Yosef is not Isa father at all. Already one day irritated ridiculed in. Mom, is that what you're talking about? No, it's not true Isa's father is also your father. These are the lies that the evil tongues have launched to scatter us. Why should someone get drunk? Who are we bothering?
We are bothered, but it is not something to use in the evening. Go to bed and think good. I'll go where Isa is. Mom, don't be alone for long. I won't. You will see the sun will not yet set until the bush is back. You promise to me? I promise. Oh, my God, if he went to the desert again, it would be two days without sleep. I will not reach. This had already happened around Easter last year. Merchants found. Miriam did not know what voice called me, either from thirst or from heat. In the evening the road is completely empty, but I know that until Jerusalem has more than two days. How many times Isa promised to go away, and the past also left. Co to do. Miriam, don't be afraid, your child is with me. Is a nightmare that is so like the time in Bethlehem when we stayed downstairs with cattle. Nightmares all this? I'll meet someone on the way, if he's gone, he'll be seen. Miriam, where are you? A real voice sounds and from the donkey not a human. 12. Simeon Claus, Miriam, when will your husband come to us to fix that kiln? Well, are you so busy? Sitting next to the donkey, due to thirst, Simeon had no choice but to drink it. Well, already scratched, but do nothing. Promises to take to himself, Naraj, if I don't send him on the way and Joseph comes to fix what he promised there. Only I promised to be back at sunset. Only now has the sunset. Although I meet all tomorrow, do we say be home? Why do I have such a bad idea? This is the second time and this time somehow wrong. Closer to the desert, both time and space flow, the sky merges with dust in the sun. It seems to me to be an eternity that I don't hear or feel anywhere we move. In the time of Simeon, he became oppressed and silent in the desert. It has always been hot but now it seems hotter than ever. The wine is also over. Fall asleep, Miriam, you'll find him in the city. Don't worry, I took care of security, no one wants evil there. I don't remember anything clear below, but the main thing that I found... Oh, you, don't mess. Why are you doing this to us? Crying could press the door. Mom, why are you here? You shouldn't have come, but I told you where I was going. You scared us. You scared me again. Who do you have it for? We're going home. We need to discuss a lot. Mom, sorry about that, but there is something more important than us. Galilee's house. Brothers and sisters grit. What is the Messiah? Ha, huh, I'm a messiah. My mother is looking at me, and my father has not said even a word. I think it's not easy for him, but how he doesn't understand that even though he's not my real father, he's anyway my one and only true father. He shouldn't go through that, but he does. It even seems more like brothers and sisters. I used to be very angry and gave me brushes. He doesn't say anything now, but I feel like he has a war inside. I think he should meet that man by the river. I know they are called false prophets and deceivers, but it is different. I saw the desert myself. The man next to me sat down next to him from the river and said, Look. I asked, What are you telling me to look at? I see nothing but the desert. The man stood up, smiled, and said, Look then, you will see, he took his cane and quickly disappeared into the mist of dust and sand. That's how I looked. I can see well, only there was nothing to see but a merged sky with dunes. 13. Sand and dust. Then at some point I didn't realize how much or maybe I was already sleeping at home, or how the sun had got anyone. But rather under the influence of the wine that I had drunk with the brethren, one edge of heaven parted and the earth became blue. The winds began to blow on my face. I tried to cover my eyes with my hands to see this phenomenon. In the very middle of the glow equally on both sides, a bright star lit up height. So bright that it dazzled through sleepy eyes. The heart began to beat faster. I was really scared, fear, although I'm not afraid of anything, even death. But now I was afraid of not knowing even how. The winds changed direction. The light turned away from my eyes until I could see clearly. A beast or a man, or everything together, stands in front of me thundering with thundering iron legs.
The gate opened to it and she met me eye to eye. I know clearly that it was she, the princess of the desert. I have seen her in my dreams, and of whom the dull Simeon, when drunk, tells us in fright. A desert princess with a bullhorn-like hat with a golden cone or a scaly skirt that is as hard as iron, as light as silk. She came closer to me, carrying the flexible body of a snake. She was as light as a mountain gazelle. I am not a little boy. I would take her once as my wife. Don't laugh here. Her cheek was fragrant and cold at the same time. I stiffened. I wanted to say something, but neither my tongue nor my members listened to me. Isa, come to me, she says by angelic voice. It sounded like on one side an empty metallic cave, the voice so surreal, like the songs of the lovets, like the chirping of birds. At the same time sweet as mom like and at same time like a forming iron with a blacksmith's hammer. Isa, go to Jerusalem. Find a man, John, Jordan anointing the people of, fear not, he will know you and you will know him. Go, and then, you will meet me too. We have something to say. Quote. She turned away. I watched this mirage like a stroke by sorcerer's spell. Her beautiful vision quickly disappeared into the gleaming gate. The storm rose again, the dust, the sand, I fell on my cheek and cried like a child. I sit at home again, eating unleavened bread. The brothers make fun of something. My mother looks at me and my father says nothing. Mother, mother, well, what is it? I'll go again. Well, finish, don't start again. Mom, seriously, I'll go again. This time all together. Then go really. Go and disappear if you need it. I know my mother just said that in anger. But it became an excuse for me gathered my hand and went to Jerusalem for the third time. This time I knew where and why I was going. I knew she was already waiting for me. 14. It must have been that obsession with a dream that seems so much more alive than in the rest of one's life. Finally, I have something of mine and just don't know the words as to describe. My heart was pounding and there seemed to be a hot blood clot in my body. You princess of the desert, I am coming. I know you are my only one, truly me. This time I didn't feel the weight of the road and my sore feet seemed like wings that carried me faster than the wind. I saw the city and its walls grow up. I quickly came to the river bank. I didn't feel thirsty, even though I hadn't eaten or drunk all the way. There was no fatigue or knee scratches. There were a lot of breakers. The crowd had pushed to the river bank. I heard people say that the sick was looking for a cure. Someone prayed to heaven for a son in prison, someone called after forgiveness of sins. The Pharisee and the Roman stood their centurion, someone who gritted his teeth, someone seemingly anxious. Hey, you, yes, you, cried one of the Pharisees. Listen, aren't you the carpenter's son? Your father made me a table. It's messy. It will not be a good thing. Tell me to come, otherwise I will send for the money. I couldn't answer anything. What can I say? I pulled into the crowd, pushed with it to the river bank. At one point, the crowd's pressure eased. I came to the bank of the river, already walking in the British water. The water was stiffly cold. In general, I don't like it very much. I can't swim. There was the same man I first met who was talking about watching. He and the desert princess are on one hand. Yes, it looks like fraud and folly nonsense. Isa, cried the man. Come on, come on, you're finally here. I was waiting for you. How does he know my name? But if the Pharisees asked my father, nothing. Then he knows me too. Isa, come, come watch. He asked me to the crowds. You see the sheep demand, enough. Because the wolf will otherwise code. It cannot escape on its own. Isa, shepherd. Who are you? I asked, and where is the princess of the desert? I began to feel disappointed. I don't want to be a shepherd. To this herd where there are many desperate breakers. They did not arouse pleasure, gloomy faces, and that sick who die and repel. The Pharisees and Romans are lying to me all the time. Will his father have worked so badly for them? Isaiah, I am the voice of the caller in the wilderness. 
I am the one who must prepare for your coming. Come on, I will immerse you in the water, you will be born to her. And you, old, washed away by the water. For her I heard, for her it blew a new fire for me, to go out differently I started inside was everything. Well, I don't care about water and people. 15. John pushed me back hard. I fell backwards into the water. Bitten nose breath, I seemed to drown. I was stuck with water, but there was nothing I could do. My legs detached from the bottom of the river and I gasped helplessly into the bottom. The shallow shore had suddenly become a bottom. The sunlight in the tunnel kept moving away. The noon's ears became silent. I heard a flicker of wings as a frightened pigeon rises in its wings. Only this time the sound seemed to go backwards. The pigeon's wings got closer, and I could clearly see a white glazed pigeon moving in small pieces of rubble, but not completely collapsing. One sharp needle-like piece of glass struck my heart at the speed of an arrow. I could still see the wings fraying as I felt the water release my throat and breath. Strong hands pulled me out like a push. People around me called something. The nostrils, ears came open, I saw this son and John said, I feel like, well, she's with you. She is with you. I didn't know anything to say. I went ashore, sat down and tried to find some explanation for everything that had happened, and the main thing was to figure out what to do next. As it got dark, there were fewer and fewer breaks. Virtually no one went to the water anymore. The Pharisees and Romans were gone. When there was no one left to surround John, he came out of the water. I see the frost because at times it trembled and my hands and feet were swollen from such a long time in the water. Well, Isa, what do you think? Did you meet her? I do not understand. Honestly, I start wanting home and being scared. I don't know what I mean. I wanted to come that way, but now I don't know if that's really what I wanted. I think I thought something too much in my head. Isa, I have had this feeling and still do. Yes, but... To you come these huge flocks and a whole cohort of soldiers almost gathered. Let's go, I must eat and drink. I'm not homeless, if that... Squeaking, he got up and walked away. There was nothing left to follow to freeze. After freezing, no way does not want to. Even if I did not meet the desert princess, the food is still better. Chapter 5 We came to a house, rather it could be called a pub with rooms on the second floor. All sorts of men teased. Obviously, he knows who we are here. In the largest room a song sounded, and the string instrument quietly created a strange, as if cozy, as if mystery feeling. Bread and wine were poured out. I also reigned. No one treated a small child as at home. I felt sadness, everyone was. 16. Talking about something. Well, fatigue took over me. I will give up and fall asleep there. I woke up shaking. The speech has remained silent, the people whispered. Isa, it's really a sign, not a coincidence. A guest will come to us tonight. A benefactor who has donated a lot, as they say money, and in fact, thanks to which we can laugh so comfortably here now. I just don't know that person today. I'm afraid there will be some Roman spies coming to defeat us. Taverns came. What does the owner look like? So excited. Outdoor carriages. Someone important has arrived there. Talk to me. John clasped her legs. His dishes and leftovers were taken away in a flash. The other men tried to shake. Get an insight. If it were said that the wind was blown out of nowhere by extinguishing the oil lamp, it would already seem like invention. But it was. At the beginning, three armed maybe men came through the door, or they were a female of such a nature, slipping in and out something, they fortified the entrance. Staying in the front of the main door and what, it seems to me, a tall lady, entered the room. For a while, everyone stood there, not knowing what to do until John revived the fire in the lamp. Called to sit down and offered the same wine from which we were already bubbling, and where much, if not all, was gone already. 
The lady refused, revealed her face, took off her upper cloth, revealing a delicate body in a dress adorned in a non-Jewish manner with some pearl ornaments. No, it wasn't a desert princess, but she got something closely fragrant and tempting about her appearance, more tempting for carnality and a look in her chest and hips. That view did not go unnoticed by me. She bit touch her lips with tongue, which tightened me even more, but I wouldn't let anything. She opened a leather bag and pulled out a small box that looked metallic but not forged. Such as rolled, like a ball, only completely metallic throughout. As far as I understand, John, it's you, she began to speak without any ceremony. Well, I do, John replied. And here it is, believe it or not, Isa, I think he is in Crestos. Maybe, he is. She is opening the box, looking into it and then at me. Yes, he is. I'm drunk probably like never ever. I excuse for such behavior of myself. Let's go, she told me. I walked following her lead. It was neither an order nor a request. We entered another, small room, which was dark and only the cunning moon outside the window saw us. 17. Don't be afraid, you are misunderstood, and you can't be otherwise. Get upset and listen, look at me. She opened the box again. P-H-I-S-T-I-S -I -I Sophia, she says. I don't know what that means. I don't know Latin or Greek, really. She touches her temples with her finger, making me a fool on the trail. How could I know Greek? Here, she says, here is the kingdom of God, and there is the power and glory of the whole world. You may be lucky, but maybe not. But I'll ask you once. You will answer me yes or no. Then she put the curse on my eyes and the light struck my already closed eyes. Suddenly I became fascinated by the spirit and stood in the same place in the desert where the princess of the desert appeared. Yeast, the sky parted again and just like then time ago an iron creature with a strong foot went from the sky. Only this time the sand and winds don't blow my eyes. I looked and saw clearer than clear. Even the sadness was gone. The gate opened again. As the light shines, there she comes, Agent. This time it didn't seem like a phenomenon. It was a beautiful real princess of desert in the blood and of the living flesh. Her breath felt on my face. She was close, she kissed me once more. The feeling I experienced cannot be described in words to me. She spoke, and it was like this. I remember it all. I am here, here is the glory of the whole world. Is it a step to love only me and nothing else forever and ever? My whole short life ran before my eyes. I don't think so. I said, yes, I promise. She kissed me again. I cried. She pressed against my chest, where her heart was pounding, she seemed to jump out of her ribs immediately. I love you, you will live forever, you will sit on the throne of the city of heaven at my right hand and rule over this earth. For now I and my heart and my eternity belong to you. Protect it, she kissed me again and I faded in bliss. Hey, Isa, come back. What were the stories that were what you saw? Some dreams. I murmured. What was there, stories? Were you there or anyone else? She laughed. You'll still drink too much wine, won't you? Okay, don't tell if you don't want to. I will know anyway. In general, my name is Miriam. Miriam Magdalena. My mother and mother's sister are also called by the same name. Well, then I'm no stranger. Miriam Magdalene. All you must adjust is one thing. You see, Sophia, there is this box and only I can give you what it says. That's what happened, we'll be better friends. Okay, let's face it. I have nothing against Magdalena, let's just say that tomorrow you will answer 18. Many questions for me. I am here only to answer questions. She closed the box, got up and slid out of the room with her hips moving so smoothly and flexibly, even close to as the snakes do. I thought she was a snake, a real snake. It becomes more annoying with the sun. I feel a terrible hangover. The head was as heavy as an anvil. Somewhere someone called for breakfast. I went down to the first floor with all my might. Already.
Magdalene was sitting there. All the men like flies on honey were cycling around her. What the two something fiercely debated or even said hostile a was rather contentious. I just sit down, write their pieces of bread and a jug of water calm my insides a bit down. I can also see all the rising tension in the dialogues. You said that he would be the Messiah, the next king of the house of David, who would eventually drive the Roman necklaces out of Jerusalem. But now about some kingdom of God and where you are talking. You just used us to carry out your mystery. We must speak to the men, gather the people, and lead them with a sword against the beast that has been feeding the Holy Land for some time. Where even the priests have been bought for iron rattles and foreign treasures. Is that what you sent us money for to then plaster the coat? Otherwise, where will the new kingdom of God now be so that the oppressors of Rome become reconciled to us? Are you preaching that? Isa, she addressed, tell me, you are the Messiah. You are now baptized. Oh yes, now all the bombs were placed on me. How many? What can I say so as not to anger men and somehow the lady doesn't want to run either? This is another choice and another promise to the desert princess. All this makes my head even heavier. Listen to what Magdalene tells you. She knows a lot more about all of us. In the end you will see what was right. Everyone buzzed for a moment, then fell silent. To be as Christ says. We didn't wait that long to deny it first. Let's go to the river. People have long since gathered. Lovely, at least tomorrow the cool air will take me out of my thoughts and from a hangover. We went outside. Magdalene took one step with me. Thank you for your defense. I was afraid of disappointing you. But I am not disappointed. Well, I'm sure you're in Christ. Now we all don't understand anything. Both they and I and you. I also think you are tangled. It all seems like lollipops are crazier. The rebellion of stupid men, which will end badly. But a little bit happened to me too, then it will be easier. Sophia chose you. She told me you were coming and that's why I came here too. I also had my own doubts. There are still doubts you and now. But now I see that it is more true than I think before I saw you. You see, no one else hears what Sophia says, only I hear it, so I'm considered crazy, or worse, obsessed. 19. With the evil spirit, but you can drive it out of me, do you? So the spirits that the people think that I carry inside that evil demonic stigma I got followed all the time were gone. No one anymore will look at me with such suspicion or hatred. I know, you can, I know you can, my messiah. I have never been a spirit driver, I got no idea on exorcism. And it didn't occur to me that you got any demons at all, any way I like that is inside you. Well maybe one little demon I saw. Ha ha. Somehow today it looks like a crowded riverside is a hundred times more bigger than yesterday. Crowding becomes violent and unpleasant chaos reigns in the air. Many more Roman soldiers arrived. Another group of newly baked gentlemen with their own suits, the new Jew Roman elite. I bet they're here to stir tensions up. Disperse, make the way for. Screams are heard. Someone arrived. Road give way. Give the road for the king of the Jews the way, and give Herod, and her only highest princess Herod, to the All-Majesty High. It was a rarely lucky day today. John was angry. The others suffered silently, noticeably knowing what these actions were followed by later. Magdalene leaned close to me not to allow quiet whisper she says there John with enchanting princess got relationship a little too close to be safe for long. So it likely someone will lose his head soon, and I predict it will be not the princess's lowly head. Crowd was separated from shore so I got free ground near the water. I want to hear and talk today, loudly with a good oratory skills, says Herodotus. The Romans trained to separate livestock already bring some structure and chaotic crowd, so that the nobles had a good view of the river and show overall. John looked finally coincident, even furious. 
He stood by the water and no one approached him. Then Magdalene went into the water and was asking to become baptized. Oh no, my hangover suddenly returns and I wish to disappear from existence in this moment. Wife, in what sense have you fallen? Why such a request to purify you in water? All sins, my lord, Shinta. The someone from the crowd raged, and the unpleasant squealing and some laughter despair bigly caught my eye more and more. Her husband will know that better. Herod called in response to the crowd. I don't think she has a husband at all. She's from Magda, say someone with a loud yelling scream-like voice followed by a roar of laughter. 20. Herod speech you an overrun by crowd noise quiet do not stir the water quiet. Enough, we haven't come to a comedy here silence. He turns to John, will this woman really become sinless and pure after your wash baptize act? And what do the writings say about such practice? Herod turned to a nearby flock of Pharisees and Sadducees waiting to use writings as a trap. Things to answer even swapped the opposite way will put John on cross. They will of course begin with quotes from Torah then full out by articles explaining the place where John back quote s acts not go so well according to scriptures and law. Dot. John tried to defend himself. There is enough punishment and the severity of God we experienced so I wash my sins away. It shall be released to Israelis to see and hear how God is turned away and waiting when you are returning to do your heart's peer. Then salvation will come from the pressures of darkness and as promised the Messiah will be given. The Roman guests whispered noticeably in anxiety, hearing what they would say implicitly but unequivocally goes against the existing ruling government structure. Just a few words would be enough for us all to get hung on a cross in front of the city gates. I was left with scissors again around my stomach. I vomited causing the crowd to mock and the cult of reprimand. John Herod continued, we have long been close acquaintances, if not friends, then at least compatriots. How long have you been selling this always coming Messiah to us? Of course, I don't see anything bad in your teaching, but don't you think you're thinking a little of us here? It can promise the king of the Jews until the last day, and understand my position, I am not indifferent to it on the path, if I have this obligation and understand my genuine interest. At least how long do we need to wait? When will the Messiah show the homeowner to us and make the visit? People's patience not the limit all's crowd get noisy agent. Here he is. Magdalene's voice sounded like close thunder. He has already come. He is here among us. Here is the Messiah the Christ. Crowd went crazy. Thousands of eyes turned to me. Pairs every piece of my body. I stood like naked, driven to shame. It just seemed that the stones would start flying soon. But they did not fly. Herod stood up. He came to me, stopping so far away, he studied me for a while. Then for a long time, at least forever, he looked me in the eye and asked. 21. So, you are the new king of the Jews. It may not have been meant to send me straight to death, but I realized that the wrong answer was worth my life. I replied, No, sir, you say so. Well, the young man is not up to date, John. Maybe his wife is mad, not knowing what she's talking about. John was silent. Magdalene had disappeared somewhere. Noyes grew in the crowd. Again, all the waits are overdue. Should John be disgraced in Magdalene? Or are you hanging on a log right now? The farther, the crazier. It should have been better to stay home. The Lord in my kingdom is not of this world. Herod turned noticeably amazed. What did you say, young man? My kingdom is in heaven with my father. It is not of this world. You understand the young man, you are threatened with the death penalty for denying the emperor without the opportunity to challenge it or otherwise save yourself. Think what they say. One of the Pharisees says, He, Lord, speaks of the kingdom of the dead. By no means does he deny the emperor. Quote, okay, so be it. That's how it gets. 
but your eye feel and see what's vibrating in the air like bad winds. See that it does not go to evil for all of us. I don't want a mess. The holiday is coming though, remember my words. Watch out, let's go. The crowd collapsed. I stayed so engrossed. People started scattering, someone praising me, cheering me up, someone spitting low saying what I think. Do I want to drive everyone to the grave? In general, such a river day was probably new. John anxiously took a quick step to the tavern. Shall we call it our temporary home? Isa, thank you. Of course, it was brave what you did, you didn't let me fall ashamed. To be honest I was already going to be disappointed in you. That woman is still airing here. Why are you listening to her all the time? Take that to have a say. You are Christ. All those who were by the river will now give you hope, and tomorrow they will be even more. I tell you, there is no going back now. We and I feel in danger of death. But wouldn't that be what we've all been to? Aloha Madane. The rejoices are heard from the benches and further corners of the tavern. Well, I guess there is no turning back point any more left for me. 22. Chapter 6 The sun was already setting. We talked in the room for the hundredth time about what happened, trying to draw a further action plan or plans. With each wine jug brought those plans became more grandiose, more absurd, and less clear. The door opened, she came in. Well, our great sinner has arrived. One of the men was already sad. As one says, others felt safer and began to express one by one on the tongue. Well, where have you been? You missed the whole show. We are now traitors to Rome. And we will be hanging on a cross tomorrow. She was still too sinister one so that she got a chance to play the scene with baptism and get washed by John again. I will not doubt anyone will be hanging from a cross. Someone will put not hanging for you'll be the same so not you lose here anything you can lose. Scary in the manner of Magdalene replied, feeling most of the condemning gaze around, also angered. So where were you at the important moment? What did your Isa one leave? This fool almost signed the obituary. You were left as an heir, one donkey who is not himself. Shut up, sounded John. It simply came to our notice then that you do not regret it later. It is easy to sin with the mouth, but he who sins with his mouth and words will have to answer twice before God. If hands sin because of the flesh, then the mouth sins from the heart. Yak, Magdalene spat and motioned for me to go upstairs. I also went, then you do don't expect good tonight, you tend to fight. Let's go to bed for a drink. Do not scatter such pearls. We entered the same room, this time the moon was not shining through the window. Standing clouds, dark night, the wind pounded what was catching. I saw everything, I hadn't gone anywhere, I tucked in the crowd so as not to irritate, I heard what you said, it was brave. This saved John from disgrace even though he did not deserve it. He was saved from disgrace but his head will roll tomorrow. Quote, I'm upset. I wanted to jump on my feet. She contained me. Shush quiet, don't be afraid of you. There is nothing you can do about it. Everything has already happened. Everything has been decided. Herod is afraid that the destruction will start so. 23. Someone else's head will roll over him and yours will remain in your shoulders. You're lucky again. Why? Again, I asked. Did you forget then? She smiled and kissed me. Did you forget then? Somewhere inside the path from the abdomen or chest such as a bubble burst upwards. You, I said, looking at her eyes which on that dark night looked like a cat or a watching a night beast flock of sheep. You are a princess of the desert. You're misleading me. You check me out. Or whatever you do, I haven't forgotten anything. It's you. I remember your breath, the sweet taste of your lips and the hot fire that takes over all them as you approach. A smile flashes in her face. Then, you remember what I told you when you promised to love me more than anything forever and ever? 
Suddenly I was overwhelmed by stagnation and fear. Again, I could neither say nor move. I will not let you forget anything. I will help you remember everything. I will teach you all the wisdom of this world. I will give you M.E.S. Remember, I said to you, you will live forever. You will sit on the throne of the city of heaven in my right hand and rule over this earth. For now I and my heart and my eternity belong to you. Protect it. You no longer must fear the cross or any losing power. Each of them will be taken in time and the servants of death will devour. It will not affect you, because I believe what you promised, and I see in your heart that they were true words. The first time I saw you in the desert, I really liked you. Something in you seemed so close and fragrant to me, and now I see that I was not mistaken, even though it has happened more. You just won't be afraid of Rome either. There is someone who knows about me and now about you. You will have a moment of suffering, but I will cure all your wounds. You are not afraid, I will disappear at some point, but I will not leave you. I see anxiety rising in your eyes. Sorry about that. Eternal life cannot be gained not only by being born again, but in order to be born again, this flesh must die. Become the ashes from which it will then become new. Look at me. You see, I say this from my own experience. Joy or happiness comes after suffering and misfortune. I want to tell you so much, but there is no time. You will get stronger. I know you will endure. I see it. Have you gone so far as to go back now? Well, no, you don't. My lie loosened. Why didn't you tell me right away? You knew. It already seemed to me that it would not end well. Too good to be true. Somewhere there is always a hook on which to collide. Okay, I don't condemn you. Only I am already afraid of never. Do you understand what they are doing to them? You realize I'm hanging on a pole. Oh God, why will you disappear? Why will you disappear now? I'm starting to think that you are my imaginary. 24. Image that I invented everything. When will you return? Then I will be there, I promise. There is no other way. I have a lot to do to save you. There is no spell here. Here is what I learned and what I will teach you. I will be back, and I will be by your side in the most difficult moments, I promise. She kissed me and I disappeared in bliss to wake up in the morning. The rooster sang. No one was making noise downstairs. I went down. It was empty. Neither the owner, nor the husband, nor John. There was an unusual silence. At my yesterday's dream or dream none. Rather, such an unpleasant reality. I went out. The street was empty. Isn't that a holiday? I went to the market square to scout. Yes, there were people in the market as well as a lot of Roman guards just waiting for someone. Probably for the safety of the holiday. I went. On to look when the cries came from behind. Re, where is he? Re, where is the Messiah? Watch out, where is it from the river? Time stopped. I wasn't ready for suddenly. It will be through with me now and really. Pag, there's no way you can undo it all. It's a nightmare or a phantasmagoria. However, I was just sitting at home and I was already being driven somewhere to the place where the torment would die. Stones are already flying. Some wives throw me around my neck, kiss my legs, cry, fall to the ground. Some husband hits me, someone spits, others look at me in despair. Why did you leave me? Why now? Please do not leave me. I surrender my soul to you. My body will soon be shattered. This field dog feast will not leave a stone. Where are you? I do not hear your steps closing. Is this not the hardest time to be? Isn't this the hardest part yet? I don't feel anything anymore. Soldiers are flying around. They act like ants. First nails pierced my hands, then me. Feet. A wife runs over and gives me a cup. Crazy wife. Who do I need him for? The pain is already quite intoxicating for me, but she even forcibly pours me out of the cup in my mouth. It's not him. That's what's bitter. After vinegar or wormwood, I want to spit out but she holds my hand to my mouth and doesn't feel it.
the soldiers drive it away. The pole is raised from above. I see the people, I see the city walls, I see the sky shining in the already dark shining star of the morning. As it approaches, it gets bigger. I die for time, it's death, that's what it looks like, if it can be said in such words at all. I am no more, there is only light, there is a stronger trail. Rustle of wind in the, I'm gone, but I feel like lightning fast, the winds carry me. I'm gone, but I see the light. It pulsates and roars, flickers so fast. It can't be distinguished just that I know it flickers. All this does not change, it does not end like an eternity around, but nothing changes. Is 25. It irrelevant to stay hanging like this indefinitely? Now fear takes over, never have they been like this. Well, it's all through, that's all there will never be. Everything has been an ended in this sense. It raises, as it was said, spiritual, the most primitive fears of the existence and non-existence of foundations. You promised to be with us at the most difficult moment. Well, there is nowhere to be at that moment, and it is not the scariest of nothingness. Please, you promised to be with me. The light went out, the wine stopped. It didn't take me anywhere anymore. Well, there is darkness, silence, and peace. Somewhere the fear has faded. Such insignificance seems more pleasant if you call it that. I try to see or hear something. Absolutely not this nothingness is no one's I don't understand that I don't remember what was and what I just thought or wanted. Thoughts do not hold together. Name what? Where? Who? Where? Am I a bacterium? Mushroom? Are nothing where? Isa not afraid, I am with you. I'm here, you will see me now. A little more, you are not afraid we are already done. I was with you all the time. You just weren't there for a moment to hear me, to see you feel. Red bows and blue tree branches that stretch like creepers, having needles in place of needles. I'm pierced all the way through the needle. On the contrary, where the needle pierces, there I am, because I felt the stitch, the myriad stitch. Everyone is felt all the way through to the eyes through the stitches like rays of light, fine music of the sweetest pain I have ever seen. I see a face. It's her. It is Magdalene, my desert princess. Happiness, yes, that is true happiness. Beloved, I was waiting for you. You have come for eternity, but now I am all pierced and whole with all your hands, feet, flesh. It is so strange to see, hear, and feel her kiss again, which lights the lights in me. Her glowing breath makes blood run like streams in the mountains when the snow melts in the spring. I only see ye now, the sand winds do not interfere, nor the darkness. You are exactly Miriam, Samagdalene. You are too, even though it seemed like you weren't her anymore, that in the desert I met you were different. Quote. She listened to my words and started laughing. There in the desert your imagination was stronger than what your senses created for you. We often see things not as they are, but as we imagine. Usually this place is the end of a fairy tale. 26. And they lived happily ever after. We are where? Can we go back there by the river? She looked at me with a view that made me realize that I would not be able to return to the river or home. And in general, where are we? You must dispel my ignorance. We are where under what is also called the kingdom of the dead. Literally it is, you died, and you came here, so you are not lying. Is it paradise or hell? Neither. I would say you are lucky again that you are so trustworthy. Um, who am I telling you? I'm not your wife. Who am I to you? A lover? Nope, you are neither a wife nor a lover. You are such a thing I have no word for. Ha ha, come up with a new name for me. Think who I am for you. But you are also lucky to have you. You see, time also passes while you are down here. It's not been a long time since we remember living. Soon you won't remember either. Now tell me where you met me. It simply came to our notice then. I don't know. Everything is in now like blurry milk. Who are you? I know you, but who are you? 
I love you, but who are you and who am I? What's my name? What's your name? I just can't talk. Quote. It means that you are born again, completely again. Well time to return to the living. But we will not sit here for eternity. She smiled and kissed me. Did she already pre-planned all this? A strong whirlwind again and the winds and floods of gas carried everything, mixed, noise, thunder. I rose like out of the water, like a bubble floating to the surface. When the bubble bursts on the surface, the baby cries, the mother's cries. Oxygen is loaded in the nostrils and the fire starts to burn inside. Yes, this is her hot breath, this is her life. I was born, Chapter 727. I come from Orlax. It is a town in the French Alps, born in both Beliaka. I don't know much about my parents. Well, that's it. There is nothing to be proud of in my life. In the monastery, however, I am considered a productive prodigy because I am unusually successful in my studies. I don't know how but I want to finally get out of this state of misery and see the only my studies as way to do it the only hope of mine. And just learning high virtues is something for the sake of me, Gerbert just a monastic rat like we are all here at St. Gerald. When you can read the invisible, secret gift of the world given only to a few consecrated persons is open to you. A gift that gives strength and can bring power, fame, all that the carnal heart desires and for which so much suffering and blood is poured out. Because of which God also died. Growing up in a monastery, it is time to be furthest from the face of God. It goes without saying that in such a stench the Holy Spirit of God will not ever step his foot here. I have no correspondence. My mentor received an important message, judging by the seal in. Finish of Count Borelli Barcelona. Well no, I don't read strangers' letters. Everything to do with time becomes known, even if you worked hard to hide. I passed the house of Lodrak back quote S. Bozo. His beautiful daughter Josetta annoys through the window her multiple admirers. Blessed you day Bella Virgo and my beautiful heavenly virgin. Will you come today for evening mass consecration? Gerbert, invite the lady to the pub better. The rattlesnake got angry, the same in the islets, but who did the monastery rat even measure with him? Josetta looked at me without ridicule and said, Gerbert, when you become Pope, I will not only come to your panties. Ha ha ha, I laughed. Well, yes, then promise. I promise and swear. I'll come to Gerbert. I think Josetta likes it. She's not behind the evil. Or ridicule, she said. It already is. Not that I lead someone to my basement cell, where? It is good to have a candle to light at night, entering the needs so that my head does not hit the low vaults. I would give everything to keep her oath, so hope is dim. Only the miracle of God hidden in numbers, in words, the village. Magic of the fools, the same as not so bad. I, every time after this temptation of the flesh from which not to escape in life, my thoughts walk around. So, she would be a shepherd girl, a fool. I would not go too far in my mind to realize that I was the one from two or five able to read in twenty-eight. Write in this town, and books about works of passions create the immeasurable amount and breadth that feed my mind and give strength unless the desires drive the wings. The sun had not yet set. Feeling tired, half of the road left to reach the monastery. Good peace to enjoy this day, take a break and sit on the side of the road. I had a bit of brandy to bargain for the pennies the road and postman had to pay to reimburse the pastor. It's a shame because how shall I know count better than a mentor in such small scams? Since I've done, I was young, but I don't weigh the blame on my big one because only to everyone counts and must learn and see my mischief as an encouragement. The monastery towers begin to agonize the bells on which the bell ringer Regilis hangs. He came from family of old legionnaires after all the members of the family were killed by. Insane writer he found himself in the monastery as the master of bells. I think of don't any god, Jetsam Greek. It says everything is the same on earth.
It is not good for the power God among us to have no part or dad all call it God. He is not already upset. I, if the doctor imagines it, the diagnosis would be that the hysteria reactive which done only the ladies attribute either otherwise to the exorcists above has long been sent. Started, when the bell of the ringing sound of the song in the voice of the single closed, then it seems like a pentatonic scale. As the sounds go in, the body of the to firm up to the catharsis begin to him and to every soul listening to this pandemonium. Of course, he sees his lusts entangled in myths and fairy tales in his head. Nymphs while faunus succubus, who in the saint Antonia temptation of always finds it and that a true servant of God he drives them away. Yes, there was a trail until the next time he climbed the bell tower and whatever two three men he must pull down day so that the priest may begin the mass. I would be stronger in the flesh, I would probably call me to help. There would be a record of my illness which would have to be written if I was a proper doctor. Well, the time is to go until the sun is finally set. Oh, the buzz I bought the dirtiest kind, what else to expect for such a penny? Poverty is an overwhelming trait of location I'm stuck in so long. Drinking works more like poison than a drink that intoxicates me. Dark mist ran into my eyes, hard to keep on my walk going. Merd, where such poison is taken made her in Orlac. Someone would sell such a bleach. La Rosa 888 is a famous class that can be so much from the grapes of our valley obtained. Shame and disgrace to those who sell such manure. Even if the cheapest and poor of the Lord's servant, I seemed to hear the horse's horseshoes and a strong saying darkened me. Mind, I will be late for Mass. It was the last thought until consciousness dawned. He slept enough without the sense for the sun to be deep in the sunset. Rain 29. Heavy drops pounded my head. I stick with llama water. Almost that who awakens and washes me like the waters of the Jordan River purify the last sinner. Monsignor, Monsignor, please wait for me. The girl's voice echoes somewhere in the rain. My horse, my horse has run away. I am frozen and all my belongings are gone. I don't even see the way in this rain. She walks closer. At first, I thought for some crazy harlot or some gypsy witch. Then as closing me she appears in more detail. I see now she is covered by as fine clothes as princes, only all soaked wet with mud and a bit dirty. I go to St. Gerald's Monastery. Can I take you with me if you wish but be warned on quality we got in our interiors. Do our walls be enough pleasant and acceptable to such high status you look to meet to such beautiful lady? The prosperity has gone past this place, so is not to be deceived by the tone of orum that is given to our city. You, madam, are more of gold here. Oh, I'm probably a foolish talking silly again, the lady doesn't seem to be taught art in the monastery, and Chassette can't even be written in my success book. Whatever the idiocy. Act of flirting, she looked me in the eye and said, if I were made of gold. I would be so heavy that you would have to harness ten horses to near me get me. I didn't say that for a moment. Don't think that, she took another step and was right next to me. I felt the ends of her nipples press against me and me. Breath like from a boiling oven, rather in my frozen body, heats up in my face. A smile on her lips tempted me. Well, I was Saint Anthony, so mine was broken. And now there are no visions or spirits here. She stood in front of me, flesh and senses, raindrops washed her eyes, the wind blew away any trapped. Sadness, its clarity, brightness is not even found in the daily routine. Blood pumped melted ice and boiled rain llamas. You didn't say, but did. Not you really think? She's like asking an exam question, which I'm wrong to say, and what I'll lose. This time will be her. I felt and realized it so strongly that in. Not why did the people seem to be right? Yes, madam, I, that's the first thing I think of when. 
You see it. I am a monastic rat, just like everyone in the flesh. I am in the flesh of... My mind is all. She smiled now kindly. It didn't make me feel any shame. Or punishment. Lead me in my cell. Do not leave me in the rain, in the dark. Without a horse, without a hand. Madam, I am your servant, if you will. Never tell anyone that she was cut off in anger. She stroked me. She can kiss me. You will never give way to anyone. You will never be a servant. What distinguished the poison and kiss of brandy was the feeling of bliss that a touch of magnifying glass gave in the gas in the abyss like forever stuttering and trembling running over my back and the whole body of each body crypt was felt full. I don't care what all this is anymore or I'm still in the poison. Power of and all this like just decoys sensory disturbances of my body 30. Created by the just everything was so clear and again it will flow in fog and mud again. Beautiful this time eternity ends her magnifiers disappearing. From mine, never, she says to no one. Yes, madam, I am not such a simple lady. My name is Meridian, Monsignor Happy I met you here. My name is Gerbert. The mass is over. Yes, it's three after midnight. She investigates a box. How does Meridian know this? Neither the moon nor the stars. See, Rain, if you really want to teach me, will you bring me in a little bit? I would never have taken anyone to lie there, and I would be ashamed to be ashamed of the life where I lead. Next comes Ken, Meridian. I'll get good at them. Candles and dinner, you will see. I will conjure you a monastery pleurisy. Ha ha, a little joy in my heart. Even from the sidelines, the joy just came out, and she started laughing, really. Well, well, do you create sorcerers or rats for us in the theater and the... The monk's table will make a feast on the... Yes, yes, let's watch the wake-up old fell in. Ibaloyo, in the kitchen, he is like a god. Ha ha ha, she laughed from the heart. I wonder what I had to promise and what curses to hear, but there was both. Wine and feast. Only rats did not play for us in the theater, but we will forgive them. I laid her on my bench. I settled me. Next to the floor. Won't you come to bed? As if in a misunderstanding, she asked, what's in bed? There's barely room for me, barely one. I haven't come. So long so far to sleep alone in the cold. If so, it's even better to freeze in the rain instead of sleep alone. Well, from a distance, really a little different temperament and mentality. Or that isn't that what I always wanted and dreamed about. At the same time, what would you say about that? But hell or wheel is not exactly at the dreams dreamed. Moments when fate gives you hands and just some kind of prejudice in mind idiotic constructs that make you intoxicated put your foot in the way. I took a breath, madam, sorry, Meridian, if you're... Not bothered by snoring, which I am ashamed of then with the greatest desire to share a bed with 31. You my bed. Ha 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 H dude, you don't get it. She laughed. Yes, even if dire, remember. I and dream scream, kick a lot and scratch. Because we will receive receipts. Ha ha ha. She smiles. Then the candle went out. Darkness felt safer and I stepped into my bed next to something divine. I immersed myself in the swamp as I was led by my own acacia. I hear thrills could write but my breath me every time I remember it. And the feather hands shakes my scattering mascara on all the sheets of paper that must start repeatedly. I love you, Gerbert. You will be great. Why does Meridian say that? Why? I want my beloved to be men honored among. I know you are depressed because of that. No, it's not like that well. Maybe a little bit about me, you know. Well, don't excuse me. You just were in me. Why are you ashamed of me? You conquered me and are still inside me. Am I not a person close enough to you? Oh, sorry, Meridian. I may be on the sidelines like a monk's side talking always. I like your talk in a silly way, ya yeah, do. The same thoughts driven by desires. So, this guy's known as. That would make it otherwise seem sacred. 
I also don't like training, although it is called Prodigy Me and Miracle. Yes, I am Caribbean, yes Caribbean. I'll take you here and respond when you the rain. Call in. You wouldn't be so beautiful and tall, you would leave it in the rain. Oh, forgive me for this naughtiness. Oh, please don't punish. Calm down. She got out of bed. Come sit here on a chair, light a candle. Where is this wine? We have not opened it at all. Look, she took my hand. Take my hand to the table. Then by quick move she opened the amphora. Listen carefully, my Gerbert, what I want to say to you. Try to understand either what I am saying. I take a lot of risks, I don't know you so well. Gerbert, you tomorrow can be burned on stake together with me, you see, so be vice. I understand, but why? Was it all meant for? Such small as needle fear began to take over my mind. 32. You, are you the witch Meridian? At least a lovely one. I will not tell anybody, believe me, I will not tell you about anyone. I am not of them. I'm here more to share the same values as you. I just don't back what you call it magic. Asking you not to be afraid, are you a witch? Tell me to understand. Gerbert, I don't know what a witch is, and I believe you couldn't define it for me either, but I know for sure that there is enough flock to me. See burn with flames. Gerbert, you want me to believe how I really want whom I see the light of some cryptic hope in this darkness, you are my Prometheus, you are this candle. Saying this, the extinct candle lit up and in. The small lights as a lament in the fire came from above, or is the fiery tongue of the Holy Spirit in the works of the Apostles. Again, this oscillation from the clear carnal rain and wind gust to the nirvana of the kiss from the skin touch of the carnal body to the Agitated cooperation of the members where words have no place, so the movement and feeling of sweat through the primary dance unfolds, pouring into a complete biblical phantasmagoria. A heretical mystery about some of the nightmares or blessings only saints can run into. Some kind pentatonic from the bell euphoric mind produces in multiple series. Or I am already slowly running out of my mind now. Here in the basement and in the ridge or the closing brandy has not eased done its own thing and dissolved the clarity of my mind for years or yet my prayers and deepest desires have really been fulfilled. I look into her eyes. She holds my hand at the table and another open brimmed amphora for the sacrament of the priest's sacrament. She pours half a cup of wine from the amphora, then I felt my hand press tighter to the table she removes a hairpin whose wine tip is a blade trite. Gerbert is feeling, and it sounds like an exam again, just more 33. Important last my sweetheart says, or I would like to write this down in a clearer, more detailed way, but you would never read it so going on in the flow was like I felt I heard I lived. Dear Gerbert, I dedicate myself to you, my spirit, my flesh. Do you step in to love me? Only me. More than anything and never let down? That's all I ask for. Felt embarrassed. Here everyone would shout yes, yes, of course, a little fool. Logically. What is it all about? So, I can't. I know who I am, I know my nature in. Why this, as well as the footsteps I promised, seems unfeasible to me. I don't know how my thoughts and nature will change what motives will guide me tomorrow. Which I will be after years. How do I promise something at all? She asks for something honest that I can't promise, but I know that without promising, this night will be a dream to remember and cry for eternity. Or a promise, she repeats, and I break something inside myself. The promise, my eyes' tears begin to flow. I felt as if I had killed my child, betrayed me. Closest friend, an aching and invisible blade breaks my heart. I see her smiling now, but I do not see that the answer would have caused confidence in what was said. In my hand, which is already numb, and I did not feel like my own, the sharp end of the buckle pierces along the line of life, followed by wisdom. And then a lake of blood forms in the palm of my hand. Drops roll on the table. She looks directly into me through my eyes. 
The smile seems full of sadness as if she were hearing my thoughts in the true essence of what I was thinking in the dark corners of my mind. She raised my hand over the jar grail thing and made drops of blood fall on her. Stirring imperceptibly together, she is a witch who really speaks inside my mind directly without saying anything by mouth. So, I watched this unprecedented act. As the goblet was filled, he removed his hand from it and brought my pierced palm closer to his magnifiers, then starting with the tongue to it go. Let like a dog, and indeed the scar stopped, the bleeding and the numbness had passed. She removed from her neck small bottle and poured its contents into a beaker. Nothing noticeably happened. 34. No smoker light appeared as seen in the alchemist's mysteries of the she took the cup in both hands, picked it up a bit and said, This wine is my blood that is given to you, my blood I thought of every time you remember me when you enjoy it. Please don't forget she took and drank from the cup and half gave it me I drank my blood in the wine I wonder it tasted like wormwood. Or spruce needles with menthol wine is close I can imagine the best. It wouldn't have been in vinegar or what is so. Potent in Meridian, small bottle is not in my blood for sure. Taste is kind of alien by nature, witchcraft at the best. While the cup was empty, I left it on the table. She knelt at my feet, raised her eyes and said thank you. I too, unable to hold such a sudden humility, resembled him from the chair with him. She approached again and kissed me. We became like mad animals that when awakened by the spring rays of the sun, we run into a wild carousel of lust, somewhere at the all the unprecedented culmination of paradise. I hear a rooster crowing. Now, for the seventh time, I have begun to realize that there is some reality that morning is coming, and I am in a monastery with a goddess. Me in next to bed, as well as the bell and the kitchen boy are by no means the only. Inhabitants of the monastery. One last time I try to fall into a sweet dream, so that for a moment to enjoy this happiness. It finally doesn't work out anymore, so the excitement grows. At one point she wakes up, grabs my head tightly, and yes, maybe that's how it ended. Fairy tales with a bad ending. She says so uncomfortable, I am now leaving you, Gerbert, please don't try to look for me. There is a need for some work to be done on my side. Then of course pessimist in me raised his hand in the air and pointing to the sky, tip, I'll take said that you thought that everything will be different, everything will be fine, nice, superb, happy, loving. Now here you have as expected, no matter how expected, taking the negative over all my life. The scenario of it did not in any way diminish the bitterness. I felt as we decided to suck through the slits of the heart. She continued, but dear, do not be afraid and do not grieve, I will make you the highest man you could become today. Take it for granted, don't leave me, now you wake up and sing how. 35. Fast, she dresses all the clothes and gets her hair with a buckle, I repeat now in my voice. I'm not leaving you, Gerbert, I must go and take the time to do my part, you just don't forget what you promised. And I'll be back soon, you'll see. Years will not have four signs. Entered as I will be. Deem some do sounds like bells again this morning. She came. Kissed so briefly, making me feel like a baby, which is turn away from the newly known breast. Short goodbye does not make the moment even easier for me. Shut the doors and lonely, calm, drone buzzing filled my head. Morning light ray, a single morning light ray. Short moment it hit straight in my window. Suddenly for one second light was taken over my room, my prison. Then I suddenly got such a bad feeling as I fell into all the worst sins of the world and I decided to look forward to the future. Soon I almost forget this dream or nightmare. Small bright star was able to shine with the morning light right in my eye back quote s. The minute ago, she was here just next to me and so real, so clear, and now. As far away as this morning, star she's gone is a dream, do I was dreaming. 
Come back, my one and only, my rising star, my havens bright. Strange princess of my heart, I am looking for wound, but hand is clean. As there newer be any found at all, and no even one drop of blood left anywhere. 36.